a space for the unbound. This game is a lot different than what I previously played of any of the other games that you've seen. This one's a bit more like chill and cozy. It came out at the beginning of this year and it was made by Mojiken. It is a horror game though so it was a cold night. The South Star Princess was weak and the cat was worried. Meow Princess, Meow looks sick. Are you Mew okay? The cat meowed. The princess looked up to the night sky and thought, It's time to say goodbye, to leave the world behind. Oh no. I have something for you, my dearest friend, a parting gift. I'll show you my last miracle. Something shone brightly in the palm of a hand. It was the miracle. The cat was stunned in awe, but it cried too. Oh, Meow Princess, please don't. I can't let Mew go. The cat meowed. The princess just smiled and stared into, cat into the cat's teary eyes. Everyone wanted my miracles, but you're the only one who stayed by my side. Thank you for being my friend. Snap, I can't. Me neither. It was a warm, bright night. The glowing South Star Princess turned to stardust and was scattered to the skies above. But her light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. Left behind and alone, the cat hugged the flower to itself. Oh, oh Princess, the world doesn't deserve you. I know. So, what do you think, Mr. Co-Writer? It was great. Your story was so touching and I can't wait to listen to the rest of it. The world, the adventure, and the characters. I love them all. But the princess, I love her the most. Oh, phew. I'm glad you liked it. I was kind of worried and not really confident about it at all. At first, I was going to make the princess turn into a comet when she passed away. Then she would have destroyed the planet and devoured all the creatures that stole her miracles. But that would be a brutal way to end the story, so I decided to scrap that. Yeah, I think that's too violent and doesn't fit in at all. By the way, where did you get the idea for the comet? Well, it was last night. I was really worried and upset. I cast my eyes to the sky for inspiration and a comet flashes suddenly across the horizon, burning bright through the pitch dark night. Ah oh, jeez, I wish I was awake last night. But still, I can't believe it ends like this. What a sad fate for the South Star Princess. Do you want to hear the final chapter? Final chapter? There's more of it? Yes, it'll be more like an epilogue but we can think of it as the final chapter. I wanted to tell a story about the cat's final adventure. The cat will... Mm, yellow flower, they're about to... Mm, huh, weird. Hmm, what's wrong? All of a sudden, I can't think of anything. My mind's gone blank. It was on the tip of my tongue. Hey, why don't we go out and get some fresh air? It may help clear your mind. Hmm, okay. They use WSD or the... Oh, that was okay. So that's outside. Uh, it was only that, right? Okay. How about now? Feeling any better? Hmm... I don't know. What happened? Do you have writer's block? I don't know. It feels scary to think about. Dark and scary. It's so scary that I haven't been able to figure out what kind of story I want to tell yet. Yep, that's writer's block, alright. Hey, maybe it's time to use the magic red book. The magic red what? The magic red book. Have you forgotten about it? 
The book which contains the spells to dive into people's hearts and rid them of their inner turmoil. Oh yeah, the magic red book, of course. Yeah, it comes in handy now and again. Where is it? I forgot where I put it. I'm sorry, I was so careless. Hey, no worries. I'll help you look for the magic red book. I might have left it around here. Keep your eye out for something red. Okay, I'm on it. Tambal. Tambal? What is this? Why would someone put a page from a video game magazine here? It says double tap left or right to run. A classic tutorial. Wonder what game it's for. It's for this one. That's so genius. This must be the magic red book. Hey, is this what you're looking for? The magic red book. You found it. Go on then. Try to use the book. But I'm afraid of using it by myself. Oh, you... Can you help me, bountiful, magical, mystical co-writer? Please, 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 please. Whoa, calm down. Okay, I'll help you. Just tell me how to use it. I don't remember. When you see it, you just have to open the book. See it? See what? You'll see a dancing flower above someone's head. A dancing flower, huh? Yeah, believe me, that's the power of the magic red book. Then you just open the book. Is that it? No dancing or chanting required? That's it. Hurry up and try it already. Alright, we're doing this to get rid of whatever it is you're scared of. And to find the final chapter of the story I want to tell. That's the flower you're talking about? Dive. Hmm, so she's here. I can't talk to you, right? I'm scared. Too scared to think about the final chapter. About what I might find. I'm afraid to find out what lies beneath. What if it turns out bad? Everyone will think I'm a weirdo. Just think, I've never re finished anything before. This final chapter. Will I ever be able to finish it? Oh, that's what it is. This is the stupid thing I've ever read in my entire life. My one year old cried better, if that's what no one's. So that's the fear she's having. It was a warm, bright night. The glowing South Star Princess turned into stardust and was scattered to the skies above. But her light stayed within a pretty yellow flower. I have an idea. It could be useful. This story. I'm still afraid. But this. Should I. Should I tell this story? Could I finish it? Yes, this is it. Whoa, I just realized how far we've walked. Yeah, amazing, isn't it? It is. It feels like I'm walking in out of space. Kind of like an out of body experience. You know what? We should come up with a cool name for when you use the magic red book. I think space dive sounds cool. What do you think? Space dive? Yeah, that, that sounds cool and informative. Yeah, you dive into the space of my heart. Space dive. So, does the space dive actually help? Yes, I finally decided what the final chapter will be. Oh, wow, cool. For real? Yes, it's the big blue star. The big blue star? Yes, the big blue star. It called her. When the South Star Princess died, her final wish was to go back there, to the place where she belongs. And the cat will be the one to escort her back. Exactly. Oh, wow, that sounds like it'll be an exciting adventure to draw and write. Mr. Co Writer's insight is, as always, extremely helpful. Now, don't mention it. 
You're the one who came up with the Star Princess story in the first place. Well, I had to. This is our story. We made it together, right? If you say so, well... Hooray! Hooray! To the final chapter. Yes, the final chapter. Is there anything else we need to finish the story? Yeah, we need a spaceship. Oh, a spaceship. Yes, in the end, the Star Princess and the cat will explore the spaces together with new spaceship. And the good news is, I've already built this, the ship myself. What? When did you... Can I see it? Where is it? <laughs> I've been working on it after school for the last three weeks. I was going to surprise you. Of course, I built it in my super secret workshop across the river. So you wouldn't find it. You crossed the river by yourself? That's too dangerous. Oh, don't worry about it. I've been back and forth loads of times now. And look, I'm still here, aren't I? Anyways, I need something important to finish the ship. Something with the magical power to propel it through space. And that thing is... The Star Princess Magic Wand, of course. But I left it at home. Oh well, that sucks. Should we go and pick it up? No, no, I can't go there right now. My house is... Not good right now. My father, his... Hey, don't worry about it. The magic wand is in your room, right? I'll go get it. Are you sure? I mean, you've done so much already. And if someone sees you, they might think you're breaking in. No worries. I'm stealthy like a cat, you know? I'm sorry for making you do this. Seriously, don't worry about it. I'll help as much as I can. But you have to promise me you won't cross the river by yourself. We started, we started this together, and we'll finish it together, okay? Yeah, you're right, I promise. I'll be waiting for you. Do you remember where my bedroom is? It's on the second floor. The magic wand should be somewhere on my table. Oh, one more thing. If you get lost, my cat... Oh, oh, oh no. Copy that. Good luck. I'll be waiting for you here. You should wait for me at base camp. It's not safe to wander around here. Hmm, I guess you're right, but the air is so nice and fresh here. It might give me some inspiration for the final chapter. Alright, just be quick, okay? Okay. Oh, one last thing. You said that already, you know? Don't worry, I'll be back before you know it. No, that's not it. I want to say something else. What's up? Thank you for everything. You're the best co writer I've ever had. Aww. No need to be so melodramatic now. I'll be back soon. Me and Cat Guy. Whoa, not Cat here. Surprised the cat didn't just instantly fight with the new cat. Interact with all the cats. Okay, so I can go here, but. Who is that lady? Hey, slow down, dude. The traffic's pretty bad enough as it is. You want me to hit your fancy car, huh? What? Was he talking to me? Uh, I can't interrupt with you. I'll have a spoonful of that hot sauce. Pfft, <laughs> just one? Give me two spoons. I like it spicy. But that's tomato ketchup. It looks like hot sauce. That still counts, right? Comet Kimal. Chimal? I can't say that. Hmm, maybe I should change the name to something more attention grabbing. Behold, the great Comet of Doom has torn up the sky. The stars are dying. The sky is falling. Disasters, diseases, floods and droughts are ravaging the land. Can't you see it? Oh, wandering soul. Did you see last night's news? The comet of doom has finally come. Don't you want salvation, my dear child? For only one million ru rupiah, you can own this spirit-infused gemstone made from meteorite. It's a holy talisman that'll save you from the cataclysm. What, you don't believe me? How dare you? This gemstone was crafted by, um, um, the famous oracle Jahabaya himself? What? You haven't got any money? Well, I guess it's your destiny to be cursed then. 
Oh, okay. Just gonna accept that, I guess. Where did that brat go? He still hasn't done his homework. Is one of your kids the one with the cot? Or is talking about the, the tomato ketchup? What's up, dude? What do you think? Huh? What? I'm sorry. About this Kerong Kang beat. It's a mixtape I recorded myself. Kerong, wait, Kerong Kong? So, what do you think? Uh, yeah, cool. Totally awesome. Dude! I know, right? Not everybody appreciates Kirong Kong, especially these days. It's an old music genre, brought over by the colonials and then perfected by us locals. Uh, it's soothing, you know? A perfect accompaniment for people looking to relax and escape the world for a while. Hey, you know what? You can take my demo tape. My treat. Oh. Oh no, you don't have to... Please, dude, it's such a rare occasion. Meeting a fellow Kurong Kong music fan, you know? I hope I'm saying that right. Besides, I can always make another mixtape whenever I want to. Oh, thank you very much, I guess. I received a Kurong Kong cassette tape. I don't really understand Kurong Kong music though. There's a sign on this letter. This letter is property of the Civil Defense Department. Oh, give people the tape. In today's news, another interstellar comet was sighted flying over the city. It's the third comet spotted this week. Neither the government nor the National Space Agency has released any official statement regarding these peculiar events. Hmm. Looks like the world's gonna, gonna end soon, huh? Lucky me, I'm already married. So... Yeah, the lady... The, the lady that was there... At the beginning was saying that she saw a comment and that's what inspired her to that small bit for her comic ending. Her house should be on this block. Oh, somebody's here. Hello, Mrs. Dewey. Are you going to meet to the meeting too? Why don't we walk over there together? Of course. Oh, you're not bringing your daughter with you? No. <sighs> What's the matter? Is there something wrong? My daughter, lately she's been afraid of going to school. And my husband... Well, things aren't going well within, with his boss. He's been a little stressed over, well... Over the money we've had to borrow to get Namala into school. And he's taking it all out on Namala. Today she locked herself in her room and refused to talk to us. God, I really don't know what to do. Oh my, I'm sorry to hear that. Why is she scared of going to school? I don't know yet. I want to talk to them all about this, but I really don't know what to say. Well, why don't we go to the meeting a little early and we can talk about it on the way. Yeah, that's a good idea. Thank you. Don't worry, you can share your problems with me. That's what neighbors are for, right? They're gone! Now's my chance! This must be her house. Second floor. Where did the cat go? It would be dangerous to go through the front door. Maybe it would be easier if I pretended I was here to visit her. But I can't risk letting her father know she sneaked out of the house. Besides, you'd think I was a creepy high school student stalking an underage kid. This is all too risky, but I have to get the magic wand for her. What should I do? What the, what the hell? How did you even get there? Hey, how long have you been up there? Oh yeah, the window on the second floor must lead directly to her room. Now, how am I supposed to reach the second floor? With the ladder, I will take this. Hey kid, what are you doing with my ladder? I, uh, I'm just amazed by your ladder, sir. Wow, this ladder looks really sturdy. And chrome. Have you been smoking something funny, kid? I hope you don't cause me any trouble. Nobody touches my ladder. Can't you see that I'm already busy enough? I wish I... <sighs> I wish I could get some sleep, though. Damn, 
I could definitely use this ladder to get to Namala's room. Do I have anything else I could use? If I give him cassette. Oh wait, never mind. The magic red book. Can I use it right now? Space dive. I just closed the windows. Oh, that flower is blooming. I wonder what happened. What would happen if I made all the rest bloom too? If I can make them bloom. How do I make bloom? Oh, so I have to remove all the things that's kind of keeping him awake. It won't turn off. What a strange clock. So sleepy. Staying awake to see the comet last night really took it out of me. I've been staying awake just by keeping busy, but now all I want to do is sleep forever. But I can't fall asleep just yet. Not without shutting off that loud ringing sound. Not without turning off those damn bright lights. And of course, not without listening to my favorite Kerang Kong music to de-stress. All I want to do is sleep. I have the solution for you. I don't know about the alarm, but this I have the solution for you. I'm trapped this. Oh, I'm just gonna put the alarm in. Was there something in the car? Yeah, there's something there. Sorry, I didn't see that. I'm trapped that. I found a baton. Should I resort to violence? Beat up, beat up the alarm. Wait, you can go the other way as well. Yeah, it's two parts. I think it could have bloomed the other way and that could have been like bad. Hmm, this feels good. I'm going to close my eyes just for a minute. It can't hurt, right? Nope, oh, he's, he's knocked out. Oh wow, he's fast asleep already. Thanks for the magic red book, I guess. He won't mind if I borrow this ladder then, will he? Time to get that magic wand. Ladder. I'm pretty sure you can hear like the tiles kind of like your footsteps on the tiles. So table, this one I'm looking for. There it is, the Star Princess magic wand. I still can't believe she, how she managed to imagine all these wonderful things. What a creative, precious kid. I've got the magic wand. Oh. Brat, open the door. You ungrateful kid. How dare you lock the door. You're skipping school again, aren't you? Open the freaking door! You're still doodling and writing that stupid nonsense, aren't you? Have you got any idea how much money I had to borrow just to get you into a decent school? And this is how you repay me, you spoiled brat? Oh snap, things are getting tense around here. I better get out of here before he smashes this door open. It's starting to rain. Namala should be waiting for me at base camp. I was... I genuinely thought he was going to slip off the roof. I... Can I take this back? Nothing happened. I kind of want to give the guy back his ladder. The rain is getting heavier. I have a bad feeling about this. I hope she's reached base camp by now. I love the atmosphere of this game. It has, I think, yeah, I think this is a Nintendo Switch. It has that, like, vibe as well. It's really good. So, this is base camp, right? Yeah. 
Where is she? She's not here yet. Help! Huh? Someone, anyone, help! Help, somebody. That voice, don't tell me. Hey, help me. I can't swim. Namala? Help me, I can't swim. Damn, I can't swim either. Hang on, I have to find somebody to reach you. Just get here quickly, please. I don't think I can hold on much longer. I'm scared. The magic wand. Here, try to grab this. Ugh. Whoa. Damn it! Sorry, I was so startled by the thunder. Hey, don't worry, I'll get you out of there. Hold on. Alright, try to grab the book. Uh. Easy, easy. Just a little bit. Atma! I... I'm... <coughs> coming... Coming to get you! We'll make it together. I have... <coughs> we have... A story to finish, right? A game by Mojiken Studio and Toge Productions. Good intro, good intro. Whoa, did he turn to a star? Did he turn to a comet? <laughs> <laughs>